We have in-depth coverage now on a warning over skimming devices. There's been a lot of interest since we told you yesterday that two skimming devices were discovered on ATMs in Attleboro. And tonight, another local police department is talking to us about what you can look out for so you don't fall victim. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russom is live in studio now with what he's learned. Kelly Somerset's police chief tells us skimmers have gotten to the point where someone can be across the street and use Bluetooth to take your card's information. The story on skimmers has viewers talking on our Facebook page. More than 100 comments, some expressing concern over the possibility of getting their debit card information stolen. How prevalent of an issue is this? It's nationwide. We went to Somerset Police to find out how you can protect yourself. Uh, you have to monitor your bank account. That's the most important thing. When your card is slid into the skimmer, information from the magnetic strip on the back is taken. That information can then be used to make fraudulent purchases. Somerset's police chief, George McNeil, tells us scammers are looking to take your information and your money any way they can. ATM machines, gas machines, you can sometimes get a low-level employee at a... Uh, uh, at a drive-thru or a, uh, uh, some sort of a gas station that skims, that takes your card and, and swipes it and they could have an actual skimming device behind the counter. The latest skimming scheme was undone this weekend in Attleboro. Police found these skimmers at two Cumberland farms. Police are now looking for the couple they say did it. Next time you head to an ATM, this is what Chief McNeil, who was skimmed himself, is recommending. Maybe cover, cover your finger up when you put in putting your, um, your pin. Uh, so that the, the camera, if there is a skimmer there, they will have a camera as well uh, that they won't be able to record your pin. And we spoke with Attleboro Police on the phone today. They say they have several leads on finding the man and woman suspected of using skimming devices. I'm Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.